Ethiopia and Kenya are not just neighboring countries, but nations that share um, historical ties with strong political, economic, and cultural bonds. Our two people share a common heritage, language, culture, tradition, and social values. Ethiopia, the cradle of humankind, and the country with the most significant number, nine tangible and four intangible uh, world heritage sites in Africa, and one of the most endowed countries with diverse tourism attraction as well as suitable weather condition that encompasses spectacular and magnificent historical, cultural, religious, and ecotourism destinations could make the country potentially to be the magnet for international tourists. Um, Kenya has great um, opportunities for tourism. Uh, we have you know, the great migration in the Masai Mara and a lot of um, spots and opportunities for, for different types of, of, um, of tourism. And the same also for Ethiopia. And Ethiopia, in fact, has a lot of historical monuments um, and, and um, areas of interest that connect to people's religious beliefs. And that makes it even special in terms of how we can um, then combine the, the tourist opportunities between the two countries and improve the circuit that our tourist operators can promote um, to, to, to the various markets that are interested in both countries. In the global economy, tourism is one of the most noticeable and growing sector. This sector plays a vital role in boosting nation's economy. An increase in tourism flow can bring positive outcomes to all nations, especially in boosting gross domestic product GDP and creating employment opportunity. Ethiopia, which is an ancient country with vibrant cultural, natural tourist attractions, which are contributing immensely to the national economy. On the other hand, Kenya has relatively well developed tourism industry. Ethiopia and Kenya see opportunities to make use of the vast travel-related business and bring some tourists to visit Ethiopia after their holiday in Kenya and the vice versa. Uh, tourism already become one of the top five homegrown economic reform agenda, which we are lucky with. And again, we are also reforming, you know, uh, the structure of Ethiopian tourism. Now we have tourism in the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. We have tourism in Tourism Ethiopia, which I represent now. We have tourism in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We have tourism in Ethiopian Airlines. We have tourism in Ethiopian Wildlife Conservation Authority. And we have the private sectors. As both Ethiopia and Kenya have complementary tourist, tourist product, it's vital to enhance multi-destination tourism packages and chain tourism partnership among East African countries and the framework of the EGAD Sustainable Tourism Master Plan. In this regard, Ethiopia is committed to working in collaboration with Kenya to bring a breakthrough to enhance regional integration in the tourism sector. Of course, the new pandemic requires a more innovative approach to the tourism sector. Therefore, I would like to extend a call to all government stakeholders and private sectors from both sides the participants of uh, the participation of this critical virtual forum to work closely and bring concrete results in this important tourism sector. We call for synergetic approach, innovative approach, and also a teamwork um, to bring about a win-win um, situation in the tourism sector.